Yeah, good morning. So, what is your name? Lakshmi Prasad. Lakshmi. So, can I have your resume? Yes, please. So, can I call you Lakshmi? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. So, Lakshmi, so introduce yourself. Yeah. My name is Sri Lakshmi Prasad. Huh? My brother's name is Narayan Reddy and mother's name is Ramadevi. I'm married and my husband's name is Krishna Dejaradi. I was born and bought at Guntapalli village, Kalpa district and Andhra Pradesh. I have completed my 10th in my locality, Shivangamma English Medium High School at 9.8 CGPA and inter at Sri Vaishnavi Abhyas Junior College Kundur with 8.3 CGPA and my graduation at Kavali Pibya Ritz College with CGPA 72%. Percent. Yeah, I, I have worked with the project when I was in my graduation. It's the proud moment in my project is um, the external examiner competed with us for IEEE publication. Actually, we published it initially and he asked patents for us. And there was a discussion between him and us. That's the proudest moment for me when I was in graduation. And we worked with the communication project. It's all about um, making antenna. And coming to my hobbies, I also to cook first. Cooking is my hobby and my favorite thing. Cooking for our loved ones makes me feel good and it gives me feel active the entire day. And music, listening music is one of my ever favorite hobby. And my strength is I can laugh at any situation. Sometimes it it may be my weakness and I can ha I think I can handle but I don't know what exactly that's about myself sir. okay Lashmi so quite uh, slow but if impressive you good okay then uh, so who is cooking as uh, your hobby uh, yeah sir yeah, actually it is mine too okay so which dish you cook best yeah biryani biryani okay then Okay, but you have not mentioned uh, about your technical skills and your uh, self reduction Yeah, I just forget sir, yeah, sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm still running Python and also HTML, CSS testing. Initially, when I was in my graduation, I, I have a subject about web development also. And Python also, I have completed internship, but I'm not validated. I'm just in basic stage. Okay, so how many rates about yourself in your uh, Python technical skills out of 5? Out of 5, I rate 3 only. 3? Okay, actually 3 is very good. But you are saying you are only uh, in the stage of basics. Basics. Okay, good, okay. So for basics, it was 3? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, then uh, Lakshmi, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, in your self invitation you have mentioned about your project. That's mean, uh, so one of your examiner has uh, yeah. had made a competed, uh, had competed, competed with you and uh, he was asked you about the patents and all. Yeah. So can you explain me about your project? So uh, yeah, what is the name of the project and uh, some synopsis regarding the project? So, yeah. Okay, so go ahead. But actually, when I was in Fort Pitek, I have worked with Initially, one is PCB project which is... So, sorry uh, to interrupt you, so can you please uh, spell me out which, which branch are you from, which stream of branch are you from graduation? I'm sorry sir, I forget. Yeah. I'm from ECE. ECE, okay, yeah. good. Okay, then go ahead. Yeah, initially, we have worked with a mini, pro mini project. It is about street lighting. It's a PCB project and uh, we succeeded in it. For that, I, I played a team lead role and my team members co cooperate with me. So, I succeeded in it. It's a, can you, can I explain mini project also? No, no, so I was asking about that. I was interested okay. in that project. You as your, okay. as and then who you asked about patents. So, yes. patents is a very big statement actually I can, I can yes. see. That's what I was interested, interested in it. So, explain me that project. Okay. It's a communication domain, sir. Actually, I'm from communi electronics and communication background. So, I choose to work with communication and uh, we are it's it's all about a wearable antenna which is which is applicable in actual life also and uh, we are working with antenna we are uh, it is a medical purpose actually what it means means we work with it and we increases the frequency level of the antenna and uh, 
decreases the size of the antenna. Okay, so which kind of waves is providing is the radio waves are like a magnetic waves. Magnetic waves. Okay. Regarding magnetic waves. Magnet. Electromagnetic waves. Yes, sir. Okay. So for which communication? For uh, medical communication, it in a sense why No no, I was asking about uh, which communication means so we are having some uh, like a so like either uh, uh, what, what we can say so communications are of, uh, like multiple types right so type, type like so like cellular communications are like uh, telecasting communications or broadcasting communications so in which type of uh, communication you have worked on it it's all about uh, what can i say so you can say with an example yeah sir we are uh, now we are we are using in sorry now we are using antennas in medical purpose highly because if for example i was in somewhere and my mother is also at home i don't know how how is she for monitoring her health i i prefer a um, medical device if okay. i prefer so sorry to interrupt you so is there an exact your project which is related to the some pacemaker so actually so the things you are explaining which is related to related the pacemaker you know about the pacemaker actually, so which is i said device which is uh, uh, kept in the patient heart for monitoring of the patient's yeah, heart rate yeah course but it is an external device external, external device. device okay it is not a complete project we are working just only a part of a project so some domain yeah okay. only communication domain okay. if we work with the embedded domain if we start working with mesh then we can we can make actually actually yeah. the things is things what is the goes in the communication is so it is complete at three days one is hardware one is embedded one is at the frequency levels like yeah. communication like providing of waves ml ae and uh electromagnetic waves okay like uh, it's very sounds very good but i was having a question so you have uh, a very large project you have handled yes, actually it is very interesting quite interesting and very interesting point yes, then uh, why you have stopped that field and you have moved to the uh, it field to be frankly saying for growth and also my husband suggested you have if you want to work you work with it otherwise better to choose government sector that's why i'm um, that's why i choose it okay so are you happy for coming to the it yes, sir are you happy and coming to the it of course sir i'm happy with whatever i make my as my decision and also my choice okay good so quite interesting like uh, so personal device and uh, like technical wise so it's quite interesting so now can i take check your uh, it skills too yes yeah python python is a scripting language and most widely used programming language that's it that's it yes sir so a simple answer would work here right so i need an explanation at least of one minute when compared with other languages python is a user friendly and uh, easy language to learn and to write a code we can we can reduce um, steps uh, steps of code too and it is so free of cost that's so good yes. okay. okay okay good okay so not too much extent but good okay Thanks. okay so then So why Python is called interpreter programming language? Actually, I'm not well prepared. Okay, so this code, this answer won't work in any interview, right? Yeah. Okay, then. Okay. So then, okay, as I was impressed with your project and his explanation, so I wanted to explain what you are good at in Python. In which concept you are good in Python? Maybe functions. Functions. I think. Okay. Is it favorite or you are just you? You have learned all the things. Actually, before functions, I haven't heard the, the classes properly. I take many leaves. Okay. So you are. This only here or here? Actually, sir, you are too open. So too opening is not gonna uh, work here. Okay. So you need to hide some many, many things. You need to improve. Okay. You need to highlight your own self. Okay. Then I said. Okay. Uh, I will ask some few questions in five functions. So if I satisfied, it is a okay for me. Okay. okay. So then, uh, first of all, spell the definition for function. The definition for function. Function is a block of code which contains logic, and which is executed whenever we call a function. We can call a function by any number of times. Okay. So how will you call a function? Yeah. By. Sorry. 
we can call a function by its name uh, with the parentheses and which contains arguments in it. Arguments. So what is arguments? Arguments is the uh, predefined instructions to the function. Are they predefined or user defined? User defined. Sir. And why is called predefined? Okay, don't somewhat don't be hurry very okay? okay. So like present whatever the skills you are having in Python. That says uh, more than enough. Okay. Actually it's my first interview, sir, in IT. Who's not? <laughs> Okay, if you wanna start, if you wanna write handwriting, you need to start from one right. Yes. Okay, so here the count doesn't matter. What the matter? More it matters in presentation. That's it. Okay. Okay, then uh, I was stressing you too much, so I will go with the last question. Okay, thank you. Okay, so how many types of functions we are having? Types of functions four, sir. Oh, predefined, default, are uh, lambda functions and uh, recursion functions. So it's not different, it's user different. So how many types of user different functions are there? User different functions are of two types, with uh, fun augmented functions and without augment functions. Okay. So uh, one more last question. <laughs> okay. So what is keyword arguments? Keyword arguments are keyword arguments are used to pass a variable number. To pass a variable number of keyword arguments. Keywords. Yes. So it will return a distant data. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Okay, good. Okay, let me right? Yes. Okay, let me. So okay then. Um, so I think I was done with the part. Okay. So okay. So somewhat I was impressed with some other things in, uh, in the respect of the technical skills. Okay, I will dedication and your uh, like we have explaining about the project and all. Okay, I was uh, very much impressed more than this uh, more than the technical skills. I was more more than impressed with it. It was working for me, and uh, so I think I was done with the part. So, are you having any questions? Actually, why should I choose your company for error? Actually, the the answer the, this kind of question is uh, has to be spelled by myself. So, why should I hire you? So, why don't I ask? Definitely. So, so why should you choose us yeah. for your growth? Yeah. Satisfied. Okay then. Okay, let me. All the best. So have a nice day.